Okay, this is chapter six, and this is where we start inferential statistics. And chapter six is on confidence intervals and sample size determination. And section six one is on confidence intervals for the mean, mu, and this is talking about large samples when n is greater than or equal to 30. And if you remember, when n is greater than or equal to 30, that's when we can use z-scores because the distribution of the scores will be, of uh, the uh, sample means will be approximately normal if your sample size is greater than or equal to 30. So we're now we're in the uh, area of inferential statistics, and that's the branch of statistics that uses sample statistics to make inferences or predictions about your uh, population parameters, such as your mean or your percentages. Uh, now, the point estimate is the single value that estimates the population parameter. For example, the point estimate for the population mean mu is the sample mean, x bar, just like the point estimate for the population percentage p would be the sample percentage p hat. But right now we're dealing with uh, mean. Here's an example. It says um, a random sample of airfare prices in dollars for one-way ticket from Atlanta, Chicago is given below. Find the point estimate for the population mean mu. Okay, we're not only going to find the point estimate, but we're going to get everything on this, including the confidence interval. Now, the point estimate would be for the point estimate for the population mean for all the uh, airfare prices, the average for all the airfare prices would be mu. Now we don't know all the airfare prices, we only have I think about 30 of them right here. So when we get the sample mean for these numbers, that's going to be our point estimate. Now instead of having to type these in, what we can do is go to our Excel sheet and one of the last sheets, or actually the last sheet is called data. And if you scroll along that sheet, you'll see section 6.1 air flight data and you can uh, click on that and highlight those uh, cells that have the air flight data on it and then right mouse click and copy those and we're going to be on the uh, one mu sheet is the sheet that we all use for uh, uh, part of this chapter one mu and right here on this sheet let me increase the view so you can uh, see this good but right here where it says type in your data that's where you want to right mouse click and paste special as values and now we'll put our data in there and as soon as we put that in there we have the point estimate right here so the point estimate for the population mean is the sample mean which is hundred and one dollars and seventy seven cents that's our point estimate here's our sample standard deviation of six point six nine uh, dollars and the uh, sample size was actually thirty five so we have a sample of thirty or more so it'll be using z-scores when it calculates the confidence intervals now as long as you uh, enable the macros and uh, the buttons work for you you can just click this button right here and when you click that it will copy those values everywhere that you could possibly need them on that sheet. And where we need them is this area right here where it says confidence intervals for the population mean. Now it's going to tell you a confidence level to use. If it doesn't, then the standard confidence level to use is 95%, and that's already in there. But it could tell you any confidence level to use, but the standard ones to use are 90%, 0.9, uh, 95%, 0.95, or 99%, 0.99. And some people even go farther, like 99.9%, .9%, which would be 0.999. But let's go ahead and do a 95% confidence interval for this, uh, for the uh, average cost of uh, air flights from Atlanta to Chicago. Uh, and from these 35 flights, we found that the sample mean is 101.77, with a standard deviation of 6.69. This uses a z-score now because their sample size is uh, greater than or equal to 30. And the z-score that corresponds to a uh, confidence level of 95% is 1.96. And just to check it, let's see what the uh, textbook, what confidence level it wants us to get. So we've already done this part here. And uh, we talked about the standard confidence levels there. And uh, we'll uh, do the, get the standard errors already calculated for you too here. And I'll show you that. And the margin of error is also automatically calculated for you. And um, finally, on this, it says get a 95% confidence, uh, confidence uh, interval for this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Here's my z-score is 1.96. Let me increase my view here a little bit so we can see this better. So that's the z-score of 1.96. Here's my standard error, and that standard error is just calculated by taking your sample standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. So 6.69 divided by the square root of 35 gives you your standard error. 
Then if you take your z-score or t-score, if it's a small sample, times your standard error, you get your margin of error. So our margin of error, some people just refer to that as error, but your margin of error is 2.22. And then to get your confidence interval, what you do is you take your point estimate, which for us is our sample mean, and you add on and subtract off your margin of error. So if we take 101.77 and subtract off 20, uh, subtract off 2.22, we get 99.55. And if we take 101.77 and add on 2.22, we get 103.99. Now that's the area that we use. We don't use this area here that says left side or right side interval. But this is the area that we use. And we would summarize this to say that I am 95% uh, sure that the average uh, cost for all air flights, not just these 35, but the average cost of all air flights from Atlanta to Chicago is somewhere between $99.55 up to $103.99. And that would be the summary on this. Uh, see, now it's a summary about all the entire population. Some people will choose, if it's multiple choice, they'll choose the one that says I'm 95% sure that the average cost of the 35 flights is between these two. But that would be wrong. We're actually 100% sure that the average cost of these 35 flights is $101.77. But I'm 95% sure that the average cost for all the flights from Atlanta to Chicago is somewhere between $99.55 to $103.99. And I'll stop that video right there, and the next thing we'll go into is sample size determination.